Safety Toolbox Talk Number 284 Electrical Panel Safety and Inspection Checklist 1. Panel Access Ensure the electrical panel is easily accessible and not obstructed by any objects. Maintain at least 36 inches of clear space in front of the panel. 2. Panel Cover and Door Verify the panel cover is securely fastened and not cracked or damaged. The cover should be tightly sealed to avoid exposure to electrical components. 3. Main Breaker Functionality Test the main breaker to ensure it trips properly when overloaded. Confirm the breaker is clearly labeled with correct identification for each circuit. 4. Circuit Breaker Labels Ensure all circuit breakers are correctly and clearly labeled. Labels should identify the circuit purpose, e.g. lights, outlets, HVAC. Five breaker condition. Inspect each breaker for signs of wear, corrosion, or overheating. Replace any damaged, faulty, or excessively worn breakers. Six wire connections. Check that all wire connections are tight and secure to prevent arcing or overheating. Ensure wires are properly stripped without excessive bare wire exposed. 7. Wire Insulation Inspect the insulation on wires for damage, wear, or cracking. Ensure wires are not frayed or exposed. 8. Overcrowding and Space Verify there is adequate space between wires and breakers for proper air circulation. Ensure the panel is not overcrowded or overfilled. 9. Grounding System Check the grounding wire is securely attached and free of damage. Verify the grounding system is in accordance with local codes. 10. Neutral Wire Connections Ensure neutral wires are correctly connected to the neutral bus bar and not mixed with ground. Check for loose connections that could lead to power imbalances or electrical faults. 11. Signs of Overheating Look for signs of burning, discoloration, or melted components which indicate overheating. Feel for excessive warmth on breakers or panel surfaces. 12. Circuit Breaker Type and Rating Verify that the correct type and rating of circuit breakers are installed for each circuit. Check the manufacturer's specifications for compatibility. 13. Proper Labeling of Service Disconnect Confirm that the main service disconnect is clearly labeled and easily accessible. It should be clearly identifiable as the main breaker to shut off power. 14. Compliance with local codes. Ensure that the electrical panel and all associated wiring comply with the local electrical code and regulations. Schedule regular inspections by a licensed electrician to maintain compliance. 15. Bonding of Panel Ensure the panel is properly bonded to the ground. This reduces electrical hazards due to ground faults. 